today we're going to take a look how to stretch text here in After Effects inspired from Luca. Step one, I'm going to make a new composition. Let's go with 1080p, 9 second, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in something, press the letter S to scale it up, scale it all the way and stretch it out. I'm going to right click here, new, solid, click OK, and drag the black solid under the text. This is going to be the background. And we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in fill and drag and drop the fill on the background. And this way you can easily manipulate the fill color however you like. So this is going to be the first one, the text and background. I'm going to select both, press control D three times. So this is going to create three more copies of the text and of the background as well. And I'm going to drag the Panther text under the three backgrounds, second Panther text under the BG2, Panther 3 above the BG3. So this is how I'm going to separate them. Now I'm going to uncheck the four and the three so I can recolor the background two and the Panther two. Now I'm going to recolor the text. Here you can recolor the fill. Click OK. Activate the third background and text. Recolor them. Activate the fourth and do the same thing. Now you also can rename the text for every each. And I'm also going to stretch them out. Break the rules in typography. And now we're going to pre-comp every each. So I'm going to select the first two. Right click, pre-comp, second, third, and the last one. Let's select all of them, press the letter S, and we're going to scale them down with 50%. So this way we can arrange them equally on the artboard. So I'm going to select, for example, this one, and I'm going to go to the align, left, bottom. I'm going to select this. I'm going to put it on the left top, the zero, zero, align it to the right bottom, and then the panther, left, top. The next thing we're going to need to do is align also the anchor point. So right now the anchor point is here in the center. So I'm going to select the pen behind and I'm going to drag this anchor point, press and hold control and drag it into the corner until it's going to snap. There you go. I'm going to select the second pre-comp and do the same thing. Drag it into the corner, press and hold control and make it snap. Do the same thing with the third one and the fourth one as well. Now we're going to create a null. Let's go to the layer, new, select, null object. Press the letter P for position and we're going to go to the position, right click on it and we're going to divide it. Click on separate dimensions. So this way we've got like an X position and a Y position. In other words, horizontal or vertical positions. And mainly this is going to be positioned, this null here in the center like that. So this is the default. This is good how it's positioned right there. I'm also going to go and rename these composition layers. This is going to be the bottom right, second one, top right, third one, bottom left, and fourth, top left. And I'm going to arrange them bottom, bottom, top, top. And I'm going to start with the top left. So it's going to be top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And I'm going to start with the top left, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch of the scale. And we're going to go and pick whip it to the X position at the null. So it's going to copy paste the expression from the X position. So this is just the X position. We're also going to need the Y position. And because of that, we're going to need to rename the temp. This is going to be the temp X. And here also we're going to go with temp X and temp Y. And then I'm going to go here, press enter. Here I'm going to go and add temp Y space equal space and I'm going to go to the pick whip and pick whip it to the Y position here at the null. So it's going to copy paste the expression and I'm going to click somewhere here to uncheck the expression. But as you can see, we got some errors going on. This is because we didn't close the expression here. So I'm going to go and add a semicolon to close it. So now it should work. And as you can see now at the scale, it replaced it with the X and the Y values. So we got like 960 from the X position and 540 from the Y position. But now as you can see, if I zoom out, it is huge. So we're going to go back to the X position at the end and we're going to divide it with 1920. So basically this is the width of the artboard size and we're going to go to the Y position and we're going to add 1080. This is the height. And now as you can see, it's scaled down almost to zero. So because of that, we're going to go back and we're going to add multiply by 100. So it's going to scale it up by 100. I'm going to add 100 here also. And we're back. And now you can select the null one. 
And check this out. If I go to this bounding box and drag the bounding box, it is going to stretch the text from the bounding box. So we're going to need to do the same thing with the rest. So I'm going to go and select this expression, press control C, and I'm going to go to the top right, press and hold alt, click on the stopwatch at the scale, press control V, click somewhere here. I'm going to select the no, let's see what happens. And as you can see, it is going in the opposite direction. But because of that, we're going to need to divide it with 100 at the X position. So we're going to go here to the X position and we're going to type in here 100 minus like that. So this way, if I go back to the null, it should go something like this. And then we're going to go to the other one, bottom left, press and hold alt, click on the stopwatch of the scale, control V. And let's see what we got. And as you can see, it is moving downwards. So we're going to go to the Y position this time. And I'm going to go with 100 minus and success. Now, but at least we're going to scroll down to the bottom right, press and hold alt, click on the stopwatch at the scale, control V and check this out. If I go to the null and select the null, if I go up and go to the left, it is going to scale it from the left and to the right. So here, what we're going to need to do is go to the temp X and the Y as well. So we're going to type in a hundred minus to the X. And now we're going to go also to the temp Y and type in the same thing, a hundred minus like so. Now we're going to go back to the null. Let's see what happens and check this out. Great success. And from here, all you need to do is go to the X and the Y position, activate the stopwatch. And this way you can animate however you like. Control C on the keyframes, 115, Control V. Let's go to the second second. There you go. You can select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And this is how you stretch text like Luca here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.